was 12.41 p.m. there in San Francisco, the Bay Area, Vallejo, and you're working in the garage or just finishing up having some lunch, washing some dishes, maybe doing some laundry when all of a sudden everything started shaking. Is that what happened to you? Did you feel this magnitude 3.6 earthquake by Vallejo, California? Nice weather there today. Yeah, you're still under flood alert for a lot of different areas. And you probably did not expect to have an earthquake when maybe you're putting sandbags out. I don't know. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. I want to give a shout out to many of you that support my work. Grace, Shogun, 459, Tads, sending prayers for your health. Uh, Deb, and many others. Yes, thank you very much. Um, so did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? What did the motion feel like? I downloaded the data for this earthquake, and there was one small foreshock just before it occurred. Yeah, here's the main shocker. Yeah, it really went across a large area, felt all the way to Oakland and beyond San Francisco. Santa Rosa, San Jose. Ah, there we go. And as far south, look like uh, Carson Hills. Let me bring it over a little bit. Quail Ridge Ranch. Crockett said that um, they were in the garage at the time, the garage door, and the house made noises. But they were brief, felt like a large truck driving by. Another one, don't know where that one's at, heard it coming, um, had a few rattles and a good shake. Another one from Rodeo, a few short jolts. Uh, Manika said it was strong there. Another one from Rodeo, hard jolts, small shake. Um, the con condo creaked. Wow, that's not good. One big jolt and a loud noise there in Vallejo. Another one from Vanika wow. um, said they felt it. Third floor of the Heritage District, very strong and a few jolts. Wow, what did it feel like to you? There in Martinez, they had a big jolt, they said. American Canyon. They were on their couch watching TV and felt one quick, hard, sharp jolt. Moved the couch a bit. What did it feel like to you? So far, 1,892 people sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. They gave it an intensity level of 4, which means it's considered a light earthquake felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few during the day. If someone was taking a nap, were you taking a nap and it woke you up? Dishes, windows, and doors were rattling. Walls making creaking sounds. We had one report of that there. Sensation like a heavy truck. Um, striking the building. Standing motor cars rock noticeably. Were you driving or sitting in the parking lot? Did you feel it? There is a fault that goes through here called the Southampton Fault. It could be that or a branch of that fault. Um, it's not far. You can see over here. Uh, we got the Greenville Fault. There's been a lot of activity along that fault and the uh, Calaveras Fault. Yeah, I would like to know, what was your first reaction when you felt it? Did you wait until to see if it was going to get larger? And as you know, any earthquake does have a 10% chance of being a poor shock for something much larger. Are you prepared? So it's great to be talking to you again. Thank you to one of you that is subscribed to my channel who sent me a report right after they felt it. Thank you so very much. And please subscribe. Yeah, it's awesome talking to everybody, and it's awesome when I get reports from you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and share your experiences with everybody else. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.